everybody loves a circus. Under the big top, there's a glittering wonderland of fun and excitement that draws huge crowds every year. And there's no more popular act than the Liberty Horses. It takes a lot of training to make one do this. High above the crowds are the flying condons. Split-second timing, skill and daring are vital to trapezists, though it looks easy the way they do it. Here's a tricky stunt. The man on the right's meant to change places with the chap on the left, but he's missed. There's no harm done thanks to the safety net. Down in the ring, someone fancies himself as a bareback rider. Like all of us, the 10 Ascars have ups and downs in their lives. They make a living on a seesaw, see? Manners may make his man, but if an Ascar asks you to take a seat, look out. After the seesaw champs, we meet the tightrope chimps, the chumps. The cheeky monkey. Now hop it, you chimps, your time's up. Cinderella's coach leaves the arena, and that means it's time for the interval. So let's go behind scenes and have a look at the animals. First stop, the bear cage. Every care and attention is lavished upon the animals who perform under the big top. seem happy enough off duty, so let's visit the Tigers. He looks a dangerous customer, doesn't he? Can't say I'd like to swap places with a man who goes into the cage with the big cats. He's only got a whip to protect him from their sharp claws. I'm afraid I'd lose my head. What am I saying? It's all right for you, Michael. You're on the right side of the bars. The king of the jungle is taking things lying down before his turn in the ring comes. It seems we're going up in size, so now's the time to visit the really big chaps. It's an old saying that elephants never forget. Certainly, this jumbo seems to know when tea time comes around. And when an elephant feels hungry, you'd better feed him. Taking a well-earned rest after their adventures on the tightrope are the chimpanzees. Here comes an armful of trouble. Yes, it's Charlie the Chimp. He's all dressed up and raring to go. Michael's little sister wonders who's making a monkey out of whom. He's a friendly chap, is our Charlie, and it looks as though he's taking a liking to young Michael. If he's thinking up some more mischief, it seems as though father's going to be the victim. Charlie's getting restless and feels like a move. Watch out, Michael. That little rascal will lead you into trouble if you give him half a chance. Hello, who's he found now? Yes, it's Coco the Clown. Michael's heard all about him. Why, who hasn't? He's one of the most famous clowns in the world and one of the friendliest, too. Clowns are as much a part of a circus as the sawdust ring and the big top. For hundreds of years, they've brought us fun and laughter with their big red noses and absurd makeup and costumes. Coco's getting ready to join his crazy friends in the ring, so his boots have really got the sparkle.
Michael's done a good job with those boots and Coco's well satisfied. Now for a reward, a miniature rubber doll of himself. Coco thinks he may have found a new clown for his gang in Michael and tries him out for size. You'd better not go outside with that on your head or they'll put you behind bars. Off with his head, Coco. It's time you were ready and the show can't start without you. The interval's nearly over and Bernard Mills is making a last minute check. He and his brother Cyril run this huge circus named after their father, Bertram Mills. It is over 25 years ago since Bertram Mills first brought this show to London. A quarter of a century of laughs and thrills. One of the Shetland ponies is Michael's latest friend. The show's already underway, and here's what everyone's been waiting for, the clowns. And in the middle of them all, our old friend, Coco. Looks like trouble's brewing for someone. Clowns have been doing much the same routine for many years, but here's one gag that's guaranteed to bring the house down, or something. Remember not to do this next time you clean the windows. Coco and his gang show you there's a lot of truth in that old proverb about many a slip. They've saved the biggest act till last. The circus is nearly over, and soon the big tent will be empty. But they'll all be back again, because children, both young and old, thrill to the cry, the circus is in town. Yeah!